So in this uh, tutorial segment, I'm going to show you how to you how you can connect to your university server space from a remote location, such as your home or uh, another location that's off campus. And you do that by using a secure file transfer protocol client, an SFTP. Um, the one I'm using right here is called Fugu, and it's actually for the Mac. Um, so you may use something that looks a little bit different from this interface, but what you should see is uh, when you open it up, uh, in this area of the screen, this is showing me my local computer that I'm working on. So these are files and folders on the computer that I'm working on right now. What I want to do is be able to take potentially take some of these files and move them to my space on the university server. And so in order to do that, I have to connect. Now with this particular tool, I can just type in the address that I want to connect to. Uh, what you might have to do is click on a button that says connect or quick connect, depending on what you're using. Uh, and then it will bring up these fields for you to type in. And I'm going to type in login, and you see it automatically appears. I'll type it out anyway. Uh, login umd.umich.edu. The reason why it automatically jumped up for me is because I've I've typed it in before and so the software has remembered that. I've got my username here which should be your unique name um, and port 22. And in fact I don't even think I have to put that in. I think automatically that will show up when you go to connect. Um, and then what you also will find is that it will ask for your password. Again this is not asking for my password um, because I've already connected so my password has been memorized um, but when it asks for your password you would just type in your Kerberos password which should be the same password you use to get into C tools and uh, other things you know when you get into register and so forth so if I click connect now it's connected me so now what I see over here are files from my and folders from my university uh, server space and so here's my uh, private folder and I can see things that I have in here and here's my public folder and it's in your public folder um, where you will find your HTML folder and that's where your you need to put your entire EdTech uh, folder you see I can I, I already have one here uh, for my portfolio so what I would want to do is come over back over to my local computer over here click on desktop because that's where I happen to have uh, the uh, if, if I should say if that was where I was keeping my EdTech folder I could go and find that folder called EdTech click and drag I don't want to overwrite this folder right now so I'm gonna take one that's not called EdTech uh, I'm gonna take this one called continents but we'll assume that that's my folder of portfolio files I just click and drag it over here and it copies it over and so now I can see that folder called continents is there it's still on my local computer but now it's also on my server space Okay, um, and so I'll just go ahead and look at my, what you would want to do, of course, is not move a folder called continents. You'd want to move a folder called EdTech that has all your files in it. Um, so now if I look at, if I just open up my EdTech folder, there I can see I've got my EDT 501, 502, 510, 514, 520, all my folders. I've got my background, I'm sorry, all my files. I've got my background file. I've got standard, my different standard files, my index file. They're all there. Um, any pictures that I had uh, added in uh, are there. Uh, everything is there because I just moved the entire folder over. Uh, and so now I should, uh, I, not only should I be able to see my portfolio online, but others should be able to see it as well if they have the URL link for it.